So hello everyone, oh, I'm going to do this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a really, really, really exciting video for you. I'm going to be doing my updated makeup collection. So I know I only did mine at the start about two months ago. Yeah, about two months ago, not even that. But um, I've got some more drawers now and I've changed my collection around a bit. I have got a lot more things I did before, but still quite similar things. But it's just that everyone wants to see an updated one. And I wanted to do an updated one and also these videos get... A lot of feedback on them so I, I love getting like good feedback so let's just get started also I'm wearing my school uniform not the whole uniform but ignore that because it's half 7 a.m. and I want to get this video up yeah okay so here is an overview of my area in my room so I have my five my Alex five drawers there my Ikea mom dressing table the Ikea mirror and then my Alex nine drawers so I'm actually going to start with the overview, so, hang on, I'm going to show you over here. Here we just have a Pandora box, and I just, it's, everything is white or black in this area because I like shades of, I don't like bright colours. And then I just have my Chanel Collections and Creations book, and then, can you see, can you see down here? I have a S candle and a Coco Chanel The Legend of the Life book. Then on my dressing table, I actually have a Chanel bag, these three Pandora um, charm boxes, and this diamond bracelet, it's so pretty. I have my Chanel um, brightening makeup remover. Then I have my the Blanc de Chanel multi, multi dead Chanel primer. It's a primer by Chanel. And it's pretty stuff there. Then I have my Pandora bracelet and a Pandora bracelet box. I have my an empty number no. five Chanel perfume. I have the box for my another Chanel box. And then I have my tiny mirror. And my big mirror has some Chanel stickers on it and the Chanel one down there. And then over here I just have my Vogue water bottle and um, a Chanel bag and the Orena Grande Sweet Like Candy perfume. So I'm gonna open my first drawer. In my first drawer, I actually had this. So I have a lot of things. First of all, I'll link these organisers down below. They're from Amazon. But first of all, I should have my concealers in here. Oh, look at my nails. You can all that, please. First of all, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Vanilla. I have the Barry M Flawless Light Reflecting Concealer in shade 1. The Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Oh, the, and the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And then in this second area, we just have three of the Rimmel Match Perfections. So I have two in the shade Ivory and one in the shade Classic Beige. But um, I've got loads of these. And then I have the Maybelline, the Erase Eye Anti-Age. And then I have, this isn't a concealer, this is a foundation sample. It's the Lancome T Tien All Ideal Ultra Wear. It's like a little sample, but she was like, the woman was so rude in the shop. I was like, oh, please can I have a sample? Because it says on the thing, ask for a sample. So she's like, oh, okay. And then I was like, what shade do you think I am? And she just went, this one. She didn't even look at me. And look how orange it is. Like, that is not my shade. At all. We have, I have the L'Oreal True Match as well. And I have my all-time favourite, the... Um, what's it called? Bourjois Radiance Reveal. I've actually nearly run out of this because I use it so much and it's my favourite ever. It's so bright and amazing. Moving on to my foundations. Oh, I actually did have a little bit of a clear out of the foundations, but I still have tons. I have the Autograph Fluid Touch Foundation. It's gone a bit weird, but um, it's for when I'm t if I do a t if I tan or do a tanned person's makeup. I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour in shade 100 Ivory and the same foundation in the shade True Nude. I then have the Rimmel Lasting Finish again in the shade Light Porcelain. Uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish and the NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat which is, I hate this foundation so much. And then over here I have three of the Autograph Cushion Foundations and they look like this. I have a dark one. Hey, hello. I look so bad when I'm going to school. And then I have another one. Hang on. I want to see what. Yeah, this is a lighter one. But I think another light one. No, another darkish one. And then I have my last little section here. I actually have a two of my favourite foundations to mix together. It's the. Hang on. The L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt and the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour. I have the L'Oreal True Match. The Max Factor Miracle Match Foundation, the Revlon Colorstay, 
and this Dermacool one I like to do Halloween things with. This is shade 8, I think. And I have this Chanel little sample CC cream that they gave me when I bought my um, bloody 50 quid makeup remover that was an impulse. If you know that story, you know. And then I have two foundation samples at the back, just the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable one and the Revlon Color. I need to speed up, but this drawer I just have all my brushes. I'm not going to go too in detail, but I just have lots of Zoeva ones. I have tons of Spectrum ones. Real Techniques. Um, I love my Zoeva ones, they're my favourite. I have Morphe. Quite a lot of Morphe. If you want me to go into a lot of detail, my beauty blender. And all my cleaning stuff is at the back as well. If you want me to go into detail, then I'll do a detailed makeup brush collection. Then in this drawer, obviously, it is my fave. Okay, I'll ignore that. <laughs> First of all, this is my eyeshadow palette drawer, if you can't tell already. First of all, I have the Juvia's Place Sahara Palette. And I did, an in de I did a detailed eyeshadow palette collection as well. And this just has gorgeous shades in it. And this is one of my favourite palettes and I love the package. I then have the um, Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette. I don't use this as much, but that blue, oh my god, and that pink is so gorgeous. I don't really wear brown, so I don't get as much use out of this palette as I should, but it's a really good palette. I then have the Juvia's Place Magic Palette. This is probably one of my favourite palettes as well. That red is amazing. The, all these colours I've actually tried out, except from, I think, that one, because I don't like it. But um, these are amazing, like so so nice and the packaging oh my god and i have two huda beauty ones i have the huda beauty rose gold this is one of my og favorites and then i have the huda beauty desert dusk palette this is another oh my god i love this palette so much um, i then have the zoeva caramel melange palette and i don't really actually like this that much but the colors are absolutely gorgeous and i wish i liked it but i don't that much and then i have the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance and i know this is like really loved but i really don't like it as you can tell i haven't hardly touched it at all and there's not enough shimmers in there for me but it's a beautiful palette the colors are beautiful and the packaging is so satisfying to like touch that sounds weird i have the my first ever high-end palette which is the naked free urban decay and i used to love this palette but i don't actually like it anymore but it used to be so i just think i was welcome when i bought this i then have two little tiny best single eyeshadows that alice's friend sky gave me which is lovely i have the so revolution so does now's ultra eyeshadow palette this is really good for 9 I actually love it so much. I did a review on this. I have the Sleek Eye Divine Limited Edition Diamond Decade Palette. Hang on. I'll show you it. And it looks like this. It's really beautiful. The the Balm Mont Balm Girls on the Run Eyeshadow Palette with four colours in. I never use this, but I used to. I then have the Morphe Full... The Morphe 35B, which I absolutely love. Like, how bright is that? 35F which I swear to you I haven't touched in about nine months. I honestly have not touched in about nine months because there's just not enough mattes in it. Skincare. I'll do a skincare collection if you want because I have quite a lot. And then in this drawer I just have um, sprays, deodorants and stuff like that. Now I'm going into my Alex 9 drawers. This is the first drawer here. Last year's. I have changed the organisation mind a bit. I have this little tub here full of like small mini ones. First of all I have the Autograph Radiance Blusher in shade redwood and it looks like that and it's really pretty i have the a little cargo thing that i just use the blush for i have the mini benefit rocketeur looks like that it's really nice then i have two sorry someone just flushed the toilet i have two of the bourgeois paris blushes one in shade 48 one in shade 33 33 looks like this and 48 looks like this I then have the Giordana blush in the shade 1, no 17 what am I talking about, looks like that, it's a perfect pink colour. I have the Mini Benefit Dandelion blush, this is one of my favourite blush ever. I then have the Dandelion Dew from Benefit and the Benefit Posy Tim. Here I just have this old, really old Chanel blush, everyone seemed to think that I meant like I've had this since I was free but what I meant is I've had it for like years and years because this was my mum's when she was like 20 and she's not 20 anymore. Oh, yeah, but it's a really nice colour, but it's really gone off. <laughs> I have the NARS blush in shade Gina. I have the MAC blush in shade Fleur Power. Uh, then I have the Autograph Power Powder blush in... It looks like a powder <laughs> in Melba blush. And then last... No, not lastly, I have the Autograph Pure Colour blush in shade Apricot, and it's really pretty. And then I have the Zoeva blush Pink Spectrum blush palette. The Kiko, this Kiko like 
a limited edition Valentine's Day thing. And a Laurier Mercier Glam to Go makeup kit that I just use the blush for because I hate everything else in it. That is okay. Next draw I have my highlighters, contours and my two powders. So, hang on. I am going to start with just my highlighters. These are my single highlighters here. I don't have many compared to most people, but that's alright. Um, hang on. First of all, I have the Too Faced Hello <laughs> um, Love Light Highlighter in shade Blinded by the Light. It actually smashed, and I'm really depressed about that. Really sad that it broke. And this is so blinding. This Dior highlighter, it's not as blinding as most of them, but it's so nice. And it's the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in shade 2. This honestly is the most gorgeous highlighter ever. It's not completely blinding, but it just looks so pretty and not natural because it's quite blinding still, but not as blinding. But I love it. And then I have the Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter in shade French Vanilla. I've used the actual hell out of this. And like, look, that is ruined to pieces. But this is one of my favourite highlighters and it's so blinding, like, I can't even get over it. Then I just have three drugstore highlighters that are just as good, I think. I have the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in shade Golden Lights, the MUA Shimmer Highlighter Powder in shade Blue, no, Pearlescent Sheen, then I have the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in shade Peach Lights. Okay, moving on to my, like, a glow kit, my other highlighters, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonshell Glow Kit, I don't really use this at all, but I just keep it because it's pretty. <laughs> I know. Then this honestly is one of my favourite highlighters ever. It's the Sugar Glow Kit. And oh my god, these, this and the highlighter is my favourite highlighter ever. This is so gorgeous, all these shades. And then I just have my contours. So I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in shade Light to Medium. I love this shade so, so much. I use them too and that one. I don't touch the other ones, but this is so, so, so good and it's really ruined and messy. I then have the Sleek contouring and blush palette in shade light 373 this i used to use this contour all the time and it's actually really really good and then i have the bourgeois uh, bronzing powder and the chocolate one that everyone used to have like this is the og isn't it i have a mini juba hula benefit the cream one and then the mini hula benefit that's too dark for me and then i have this makeup obsession really really dark contour powder if i'm doing other people's makeup then lastly, I just have my two little powders. I have the Rimmel Stay Matte, and I use tons of that, and this is my favourite powder ever that's nearly run out, and I've got to spend like £29 on it, and I'm really sad. But it's the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder, and I love it. Moving on to my next drawer, I actually, hang on, I need to make this stand go down a bit more. Here you go. I actually have all my primers and setting sprays, so I don't have that many, but I like the amount I've got. First of all, I have all my primers in here. So I have the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. That I, this is one of my used to be one of my favourites. The Elf Blemish Control Face Primer. This is one of my current favourites at the moment, along with my Chanel one. I then have the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer in number two. This is the Pro Multi Action, and it does so much. And it's, this is actually really good. I've used tons of this. I have the Mini That Girl brightening face primer by benefit this is really good as well but i'm not that much of a fan compared to others the nyx pore filler primer this is i haven't actually used this much but i really want to use it because it smells nice and it like it feels really nice on your skin for some reason and now it's not doing up <laughs> then lastly i have the maybelline baby skin instant pore razor this is my third one of these i don't like it anymore but this used to be like the best primer to be ever i have a and then lastly i have the mini Too faced hangover um infusive coconut powder water little mini primers first of all i have the maribidescu rose water spray i have hardly any left of this i'm really sad i then have the huge maribidescu facial spray with aloe camel and lavender he's quite love that and he had it for like two weeks, two weeks then i have the urban decay all nighter spray i have the maybelline superstay setting spray this is really good as well I have the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Oh my god, I've literally run out of it. I haven't used this for ages because I'm scared it's going to run out. And then lastly, in the whole drawer, I have the Barry M Flawless Mist and Fix Dewy Finish Makeup Setting Spray. Yeah, that's all that's in my primer and setting spray drawer. I love this drawer. This will probably have to be one of my favourite drawers of all time. It is my lashes drawer. Oh my god, I love lashes. I haven't actually got that many. I wish I had loads more, but I'm, I'm collecting lashes as I'm going along. 
and I've all my tools as well. So first of all, I have the Unicorn Lashes in the shade Majestic AF. And these are honestly some of my favourites, but I've ruined them with white liner. Oh well. I have the Unicorn Lashes in the shade, the shade, in the style Unicorn Flutter. These are so big. They're a bit too big, but I love them so much. I then have some Violet Voss Just Slaying Limited Edition Lashes. They are lovely so much, but the band's a bit too thick and they hurt my eye. I have the Pinky Goat Lashes in the style of, um, what style are these in? Moran. And these are really like black and thick and nice. Then I have some Sosu London ones there, some more Sosu London ones here, and some Sosu Holly ones here. These are £5 for Primate, they're so good. I have some Kiss Lashes in the style of Daisy. And then by the side, I just have my two, three Giro glues, one, two in shade white and another one in shade black. I love the black one more if I'm wearing liner. And then I have my lash glue brush I used to spread the glue out. It's the Spectrum A09. I then have this cute Sosu lash case. And then I have all my tools in here. So I have my eyelash curler, some sellotape, some two empty sellotapes, my scissors and my tweezers. Okay, and in this drawer here is my oh, second to last drawer. I have all my mascaras. This is basically all my eye stuff because I don't have that much eye stuff. Well, I do actually, but... For me, it's a lot. I have some mascaras. So for my mascaras, I just have the, hang on, the CoverGirl water resistant one, the Maybelline, no, the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume, and the Max Factor Clump Defy one. And then over here, I have the, hang on, the Maybelline Forces Push Up, the Revlon Ultra Volume, this is one of my favourite drugstore ones, the Max Factor Masterpiece Max, and the Kiko Volume Attraction. These are like my all-time favourite mascaras. Hang on. Have the Mini Benefit Roller Lash. This is really good for my own lashes. I have the L'Oreal Parad L'Oreal the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is a good dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I then have two Mini Too Faced Better Than Sex mascaras. And lastly, my favourite mascara of all time is the Urban Decay Perversion. But I don't actually like the full size version of this. I only like the Mini version. It's weird, I know. And then coming over here, over here I just have two glitter primers. I have the Barium Glitter Fixer Gel and the NYX Glitter Primer. I then have this little like fur or shade tub full of eyebrow pomades. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. I actually need a new one really soon. Um, and then I have the Collection Instant Brow Pomade. This is absolutely dreadful. I really hate this so much. Then I have the Freedom Brow Pomade. It looks like this. I use tons of that. And then I have the NYX Team Frame. I love this one as well. This is in shade Espresso. And it looks like this. I went, this is, I have all my liners and stuff like that. First of all, I have three glitter liners. I have the, just a limited collection glitter liner and two Tanya Bell ones that Sky gave me. Thank you very much. And then I have, oh, I have two primers of the Shadow Insurance. I have some collection glam crystals in the, blue one i then have i'm not going to get them all out but i have two hang on two supercat skin liners by soap and glory i have two of these scandal wise primers and then i have the nyx white liner the nyx red pick and yellow liner and that is and then completely lost of all i just have all my lip stuff so i actually did a huge declutter of all my lip products and i'm a bit sad but they went to a new home okay so i'm going to show you what is in my lip drawer so actually i got them out last time but i'm not going to do that this time i have some nyx no some nyx i have some lip liners i have two mac ones one in shade strip down one in shade a whirl i have a max factor color elixir lip liner in shade 14 brown and nude barry m lip, no nyx suede in shade sandstorm a barry m in shade go to and the kiko red one in the shade 706 then I have my lip balms. I have just the Carmex one in the Peach and Mango Burst. I have the Body Shop one in Strawberry and the Blistex Daily Lip Conditioner. I then have my lip glosses. I have a Kiko one, but I keep that one in my school blazer. I have two, well, they're not all lip glosses. I have one Kylie lip matte lipstick in the shade Dolce K. Kylie lip gloss in the shade Cupid. And then I have two of these beauty lip strobes. This one's in shade Mystical and this one's in shade Stom Snobby. These are gorgeous. And then I have some soothing nipple balm, but this is for my lips. That's why it's in this drawer. I then have my lip pencil sharpener. Then going over here, I have two of these really old Maybelline lip things. 
I have a Barry M Go To Matte Me Up. It's in shade Go To. Then this is my favourite ever lip product. It's the Too Faced Melted Matte in shade Cool Girl. I think it's nearly run out. I then have my Dior Lip Gloss in the shade 453 Sterile. And this is really nice. But I don't actually like the colour that much. I have the Chanel Mini Lip Gloss, gloss in the shade 752. I have this Claudia from M&S Lipstick in this shade Do Me. I know, a bit weird. I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin. And then I have two of the Collection Velvet Kisses. One in shade Mulberry and one in shade Caramel. I then have a NYX Liquid Suede in the shade 09. Yeah, and then a Barry M Pretty Amazing Lipstick thing in the shade Fearless. Hang on. <laughs> then two of the Maybelline Colour Drama Colour Show Lip Pencil things. They're like thick lip pencils. One in the shade 210 and one in the shade 630. And then over here we have my like more better lip, like high-end lipsticks. I have three MAC lipsticks. One in the shade Whirl. One in the shade Yash. And one in the shade Really Me. Hang on. These are all really nice colours. I love them. I then have some more. I have the Bobbi Brown in the shade Tulu or Tully. I've used tons of that one. The Chanel old one, this was my mum's, and it was in the shade Jamaica. And a L'Oreal Colour Rich Matte in shade 103. These smell disgusting like Parma Violets, but it's a really good lipstick. And then I have the Lancome, this really like orangey one, but it comes out more pink, but it's still really nice. I then have the Kiko lipstick in the shade 01. It's like a purpley one. And then I have the Lo no, the Freedom Pro Lipstick in shade Real. These are actually really rubbish, but I just wanted to keep it just in case. Then lastly, I have these four Tony Burr ones. Uh, I got this one ages ago, but Sky gave me these. So thank you very much. I have, they're all lip glosses. And they are in the shades Ice Queen, Pink Fondant and Cranberry Mel. And then this one is my favourite red lipstick ever. It's a matte lip and it's in shade Christmas Stocking. Hang on. And then right back here we have a Rimmel Kate Moss in shade 45 and it's like a proper nude. I've literally nearly used all of that up. I have the Laura Mercier Glam to Go Lip Gloss in the shade Sparkly Lacquer. I really don't like this but I keep it. And then I have two Nivea lip balms right at the back and this Kiko Rosa Tomat in shade impeccable rosewood and it looks like this and it's really dark and nice okay so i really hope you enjoyed this makeup collection i hope in like any way it didn't come across i was bragging or showing off i really 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 was not trying to but i've been collecting makeup for years and you just you want to see it and i love watching makeup collections and i've got to go to school now but yeah i love you all so much we're nearly a thousand i'm so excited i love you all bye